Welcome back. Weight loss, drugs, and stomach paralysis, Ozempic side effect warnings. Yesterday, CNN dropped an article called They Took Blockbuster Drugs for Weight Loss Diabetes. Now their stomachs are paralyzed. Interviews with women diagnosed with severe gastroparesis or stomach paralysis, which your doctor think may have resulted from or were made worse by semaglutide. All right. They interviewed women, a woman who lost a lost 80 pounds over a year and is able to keep it off. But now she vomits so frequently that she had to take leave of absence from work. She ended up saying, I wish I never touched it. I wish I'd never heard of it in my life. This medicine made my life hell so much hell. It has cost me money. It has cost me a lot of stress. It cost me days and nights and trips with my family. It cost me a lot and it's not worth it. The price is too high. Two other women interviewed in this article said things like, I've almost been off Exhibit for a year, but I'm still not back to my normal. What I want to point out is the semaglutide, the GLP-1 receptor agonists, these are not new drugs. They've been around for a while. There's just increased dosages, more people taking them, and a lot more media coverage. And overall, generally speaking, healthcare providers will prescribe medications when the benefits of the main effect of the drug outweigh the risks of the side effects. So we got to keep this in context. Today's video, I'm going to talk about what gastroparesis slash stomach paralysis is, how GLP-1 receptor agonists work, like semaglutide, ozempic, Wegovy, and I'm going to add context to the primary and secondary effects of these medications so you can talk with your doctor about it. Welcome. My name is Reggie. I'm the founder of Fit for Freelance, where I build adaptive business leaders through compassionate health coaching. I've been covering these GLP-1 breaking news happenings since 2021, because I think they're fascinating. They're going to have a huge impact on the healthcare landscape. And when it comes to health coaching, I help people who are searching for weight loss solutions, prioritize so they love their body again without all or nothing diets and supplements, medications that you don't understand. You can look in the description below on YouTube to learn more about what I do with Fit for Freelance. So let's talk more about this story. One of the ladies who was interviewed in this, she ate, she said she ate three skinny French fries and two or three pieces of chicken, then felt panicked when she couldn't swallow the food, felt like it was stuck in her throat. She had already been taking those epic for two years, so she already had a smaller appetite in the first place. And then after that, she started vomiting. She ended up going to the gastro gastroenterologist had an endoscopy. They put a scope down, looked what was going on, and they found a stomach full of food. And another time, what she noticed is instead of just vomiting the food she had recently eaten, she noticed that she was throwing up food that she'd eaten three or four days prior. So basically, the stomach is not emptying right. That's what causes this gastric um, delay in the gastroparesis, the stomach paralysis that's getting picked up as a side effect. What I want to do is tell you a little bit more about these drugs. Semaglutide, also known as Wegovyozempic, is a glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist. Also, liraglutide and trisepatide are two other drugs that are in this class. I'll pull up a picture of some of their effects. I talk about these effects in another video I post on YouTube. It's got a host of effects around the body. Um, one of the major ones, though, on this right side is it slows the gastric emptying. So this is actually a primary effect of this medication. And it'll be interesting to see how things go forward. So next, let's talk about gastroparesis dosing and side effects. And I'll put a link to the side effects video in the description below on YouTube as well. So this next slide, take a look. The normal gastric emptying, you have contractions of your stomach that circulate the food or whatever's in your stomach at that point. And then eventually it empties out through your pyloric sphincter in a normal way. But when your gastric emptying is slowed, either through medication or maybe you have vagus nerve damage or you're taking, well, I started with the medication, right? So <laughs> slow gastric movement. And if you have intense effects from medications or side effects, that can actually cause the stomach to be stuck in your stomach, the food to be stuck in your stomach. So you won't be able to process it. And so if you keep eating on top of that, you're going to have some problems with that. And that's what these people are noticing. A little bit about this. Normally, less than 10% of the food is left in the stomach four hours after a meal. And as you increase that percentage, there's different standards for what's considered gastroparesis. And so if you're slowing your gastric emptying through these medications, then you're going to see this effect. And it might not be labeled as gastroparesis, but it is technically the same effect, right? So severe gastroparesis, stomach paralysis is 35 plus percent. And so 
in these clinical trials for these drugs, Wegovy to semaglutide, that's in a higher dose for weight loss. 44% who took Wegovy reported nausea and almost one in four reported vomiting. And these are both common symptoms of gastroparesis. So when you're looking at the clinical trials, it's hard to tell if that's just a normal effect or if that's a side effect, because that is what it does. All right. And in the clinical trials for Ozempic, that's a lower dose that was initially indicated for type 2 diabetes. And now some people are using it off label for weight loss. One in five people reported nausea, and one in 10 reported vomiting. So a uh, smaller incidence of side effects with the Ozempic. All right. Click like if this is making sense to you so far. All right. And next, in more than half of cases of gastroparesis overall, not just related to these drugs, but when you're having a stomach paralysis issues, doctors are unable to find a cause because there are so many factors that can be contributing that it's hard to just pick out one. One gastroenterologist in the article said they may just be really unlucky. This is the guy at the Mayo Clinic. All right. To go beyond this, the FDA said it has been unable to determine whether the medications were the cause of this or if the gastroparesis may have been caused by a different issue. So it's really hard to tell if you had an underlying issue or something else. And they went on to say, so far, extreme cases like this are rare. Um, it may be from revealing or worsening an existing slow stomach. All right. So just a lot to consider when it comes to this. Next thing to talk about, and I want to really emphasize this, I have no affiliation to these drug companies. I just want you to have the information you need. These aren't new drugs. There are new dosages, more people are taking them. So if you imagine like if you just had a, a trial with a small group of people, you might have some side effects among that group. But as it's been crazy popular and celebrity news and everyone's talking about this, or it seems like at least if you're in the medical writing world, um, it seems like so many people are talking about this, that more people are going to take it and there's going to be more exposure, more stories of these side effects coming up. So you have to keep it in context. So I did some research, 2017 FDA approved semaglutide injectable Ozempic for diabetes. This research started in 2008. So like 15 years ago, they've been doing this. And it's just now that these extreme cases are making the news. Um, so you got to keep it in perspective. And then in 2021, the FDA approved the higher dose Wegovy specifically for weight loss. So it's been two years and now this story is coming out. Now, next. Something else that I talked about in the beginning, drugs should be con contraindicated only in those clinical situations with the risk from use clearly outweighs any possible therapeutic benefits. That's a direct quote. And basically, if the primary effect, what the drug is supposed to do is more important than the side effects, then a lot of times the doctor is going to prescribe the medication, right? So if you need to lose weight or if you need to control your blood glucose and there's a smaller risk of an effect, of nausea or vomiting or like upset stomach. And then an even smaller thing of some of those more serious side effects, right? So this stomach paralysis that doesn't go away for a while, that is a major side effect with a small chance. Also on the box, they have warnings about C-cell carcinoma for the thyroid. So that could also be a possible risk, all right? But overall, the primary effect is expected to be better than the side effects. All right. And then these ladies in this interview went on to say that they had some relief after coming off the medication, but their problems continued. So it's an ongoing thing. Another doctor here said that in my experience, when you stop the GLP-1 receptor agonist, the gastric emptying improves and it gets better. And this is also the spokesperson for the American Gastroenterological Association. So that's an overview question you can put your response in the comments would you take weight loss injections were you thinking about before and now this is giving you second thoughts are you already taking them and this is causing you to reconsider all really good questions to ask your doctor if um, you are wondering about weight loss or if they're starting to suggest these medications to you or any combination of that so you can stay informed if you're looking for a way to better manage your health habits without these drugs or even if you're taking them then i have the health habits challenge of seven days free tips on you know healthy eating drinking more water getting more active so you can take confident ownership of your path to freedom and fitness and then also if you like this you're welcome to subscribe click like and check out the semaglutide playlist i'll put next to my head here on youtube and you can also watch some other videos about semaglutide and all the amazing research that's coming out on that so that's today's message stomach paralysis was not on my 2023 bingo card 
could get interesting. But that's all I've got for you today. Keep practicing. <laughs>